Okay guys, so today we have a toy from ZD Toys. It is a 1 10th scale. I would go to Amazon and see this really cool looking figure for such a cheap price and I thought to myself, this this has to be a fake, right? There's there's no way it could look this good for this price. So I went past it so many times. I was like, "Nah, nah, nah. This this is fake. You're not tricking me." And then one day I took a chance on it and I said, "All right, let me order this. Let me see what this is about." And I found out a little bit more about ZD Toys and apparently they're licensed. And apparently this figure looks freaking incredible. Like it was a surprise, a real big surprise. So for sure, the very best part of this figure is the way it looks. I'm not saying that it's all roses here because it's not, but damn it, the way it looks, it looks incredible and I got me thinking how can they make it look this good for just 40 bucks because that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but there are some disappointing things like for example his eyes, they're gray, they're silver. They shouldn't be like that. His face, Tony's face, is supposed to be there. They should at least be black because at this point he doesn't have the heads up display. This thing is not digital at all. It's purely mechanical so yeah that shouldn't be that way but his paint job, his details, they're just, they blow me away at how good they are. He's got these uh, details like that for example, these imperfections that just looks so good and the way his armor is it's like these mismatched pieces that look and feel I think like maybe Tony would put it together in a cave right it just looks really good you almost think this thing is die cast because it just looks like these hunking piece of metal but it's not die cast it's not heavy it's actually pretty light but I really am a fan of the details that they put into this. It just looks like panel after panel put on top of each other just to make it look like this armor that is the first one he ever made. For the price, getting this figure is a no-brainer for real. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan here. I think I'm going to order the rest of the ZD toys, especially because they're just, like I said, $40. I'm tired of buying $109 Moffex. I don't know about you guys, but damn it, that's a lot of money to be spending, especially if you're like me, where if you get one, it's like this avalanche or you just start getting more and more and more. And if you don't have that one that's coming out for $110, it feels like your life isn't complete because you need that. And that's a lot of dough, you know? But again, there are some disappointing things like where's the arc reactor it should be there right how is he powering this thing so let's get to the part where it's not the greatest thing in the world i mean even for 40 dollars i feel like maybe they could have done a little bit more with the articulation i mean look at his head right up down not really nope that's how high, that's how low, that's how much it turns to the side, and then the other side, that is it. That's all you get. So you toy photographers out there like me, uh, yeah, <laughs> you're not going to get that much out of him. You can bring his arm in inward this much, which is, I guess, not bad. It's not the greatest. It is this big piece of armor, so I don't think it was made to be super articulate, you know, not even in the movies, right? Uh, when he made his armor, was it like super articulate? So maybe maybe it's okay that this figure isn't that articulate. Maybe they even did it on purpose. Nah, they, there's no way they did it on purpose. But look, this is how high he can raise his arms. That's pretty pitiful. He, he does have a swivel on his arms and he could swivel it here and there, but not very much at all. But uh, again, maybe that's the way it was in the movies and it was done on purpose. So you'll get a little bit of waist rotation and when I say a little bit, it is a little bit. That's it. That's all you get. So like I said, this guy might not be for toy photographers, but damn it, he looks good. And you know, if you put him in some basic poses, you can get some really cool photos, but not doing splits because this is all you get right here. He's no Spider-Man, but damn, he could do a little bit better than that, right? So his knee, it bends about that much, which again, isn't 
the best, but I've seen other figures that cost more not be able to do more than that. He can bend backwards that much, that's pretty pitiful. He can bend forward about that much, that's also pretty bad because even the cheapest figures can bend a little bit more than that. But I'm gonna say it's because of the armor. So for 40 bucks, I don't mind that it doesn't have a ton of accessories. I actually kind of like it sometimes when it's simple, you know? I just want something that looks cool, that moves in a way that's kind of cool, which this one doesn't. But he's got these little flames that he's got there. They're nothing you haven't seen before with any other character that has flames. They look just like that. They're not special. They're not bad either. The paints actually are right. But he's such a joy to look at. Just to look at every little crevice and the details. Hey, listen guys, man. These, figure, these videos, they take me a while. And I hope you enjoy seeing these close-ups of the detail. I take such care in making sure you can see that. So please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it.